The whispered prayers in the half-light are those of fanatics. Some of Al-Shabaab's most battle-hardened fighters. Among them is a British jihadist who is filming these tense moments as they creep towards the armoured vehicles of a Kenyan army camp. One more murderous assault in a two-and-a-half-year reign of terror. But for once, the militants have fatally miscalculated. Many of these fighters won't live to see the sunrise. In the final seconds of the video, Thomas Evans' camera appears to capture the moment he was shot. Here is Evans on the eve of what was to be his last bloody act. A knife and ammunition pouch is strapped to his chest. He is a long way in all ways from his Buckinghamshire home. Here he is no longer Thomas Evans, but Abdul Hakim, his adopted name. These are the men he has fought alongside, relishing the battle ahead. They've improvised rockets and explosives and studied a model made from plastic containers to show the army's position. There are perhaps 30 of them, well-drilled, confident. Their commander tells them... The Kenyans are crying like babies. The war starts now. You men are lions and you are feared. Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab has waged a relentless campaign across the Kenyan border in response, they say, to the presence of Kenyan troops in Somalia. They visited hell upon this town last year. This witness spotted the lone white man among them. He had a machete and he had a gun. Mm. What was he doing? I was killing, in fact. I saw him throw that man by the neck here. That watchman. So you saw him kill someone? I saw him. I was up there. In this town, 70 innocent civilians were killed. Christians separated from Muslims and shot. Evans built himself a fearsome reputation. He had chosen to live by the sword and ultimately to die by it. The video ends with Evans' death. For Kenya, one victory in a long war. For his family far away, the death of a son in truth already long lost.